Hi guys, it's Mark Bruce here from Red Arc Electronics. Here I am with Stolp at Sandy Vans in San Diego, and we're gonna check out the new Red Arc van build. All right, Mark, here you go. This is the beautiful crimson red Sandy van that we're gonna build for you here at Sandy Vans. That's awesome. So we had talks about how we're gonna display your electronics, and this, we're gonna have a window right here. Okay. So this area is gonna like kind of be like a bench with I mean, you can take the cushions off, but it'll be like clear and plexi. Standard sink cabinet will be right here. Yep. I'll we'll have, have a nice galley right here with induction stove. We'll have a microwave up top. Yep. As far as the ceiling goes, we're going to put a max air 12 volt fan here. And then we will have a 12 volt air conditioner right here. Yeah, nice. And we got two Red Arc solar panels that will be on the roof. We are going to add a New feature that we haven't done before, we're gonna do a 50 amp Anderson plug in yeah. our shore power bracket. Fantastic. So then you can plug flexible solar panels or whatever Portable you want. blankets. Exactly, yeah, in the back awesome. of the van, right next to where you plug the back of your van in for your AC charge. Supplement the uh, panels on top. Absolutely. Right. So yeah, we have three of these, and each of these are how many amps? 150 amp hours. Okay, so that is a 450 amp hour system that we're doing. Yeah. I really do love this handle feature that covers up the terminals because yep. it's it's just just like in van building, everything's dual purpose. And yeah. this is such a cool, like dual purpose item. This is actually the first time seeing these batteries, so I'm really awesome. excited to work with them. Inbuilt carry handles, covers for our battery terminals, inbuilt Bluetooth, inbuilt heaters, the most um, cell density on the planet, as in uh, power density for a battery of this size. <laughs> this thing is massive. So 3,000 watt inverter is going to run your coffee machines, your wife's hair dryer, whatever it is you're going to throw at or this Or my hair dryer. Or your hair you know dryer. Or your curling wand or whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah, no curling wand. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Haven't gone that far. So, the, the, um, unlike other in inverters that you might see uh, here in the US, this one's actually going to be hardwired. So there's no <laughs> power points on the front of it. Yep. You, you will need to hardwire that into your system. Yeah. Yeah, and we're also going to have the ability to have like two or at least one water tank, right? Yes, yep. uh, you're going to get one 20 gallon water tank yep. on board. Yep. Um, I don't know if we're doing a gray water, but to your point, the TVMS allows you two tank level inputs, yep. which in the van world, that makes the most sense. I don't need six different analog no. inputs on my system because it's a van. I only have a fresh water tank and maybe a gray water yep. tank. Yeah, that's so, right. Having it just fit, give you everything you need and everything you don't need is yeah. one of the reasons that we choose Red Arc here. Yeah. This is the Red Arc Red Vision. This is what we've been using for everything and you know that very yeah, well. Absolutely. And I really love this display. It's gonna be placed right here in the van. This is a central location of the van itself and where you can control everything in the van. This also interfaces with your cell phone. So huge function that not many electrical systems, if any, have out there as yeah. far as the overland space. Yeah. So being able to be laying in bed or in the cab of your vehicle and having that Bluetooth function has been very handy. Like if you leave your water pump on or your fan on or whatever, you just go to your phone, boop, shut yeah. it off. It does make a beep. You can shut off the beep too. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Unfortunately for me, fortunately for you guys, all of this electrical will be on display. Yeah. So all the wires will be as neat and tidy as I, I possibly bet. can yeah. do it. Um, and yeah, millions of people are going to see this system. Cool, so I have, my work, awesome. I have my work cut out for it's me. Gonna That's for sure. It's going to be great. It's going to be really good. Yeah. I can see it. The floor laid, subfloor in, insulation, windows, all the wiring ran. So this van's actually just about ready to get walls and ceiling and all that fun stuff. All right, just wrapped up this beautiful Red Arc system. I'm gonna start putting all the covers back on. So starting out, we have the Rogue TVMS. I backfed all these wires through this hole. Everything's like very tight, so nothing will come undone or come loose. 
I have our Manager 100 right here. Then we have the Bluetooth shunt. We have our master cutoff switch. This cuts off power from all three of our alpha batteries. The fuse on top, I put an 80 amp a &L fuse. That is because we're going to program our Manager 100 down to only pull 75 amps from the vehicle's alternator because a Sprinter, you can't pull more than 75 amps or else you'll damage it. Moving on, we have this 100 amp breaker right here. That 100 amp breaker is for the air conditioning unit, the Dometic RTX 2000. Moving on, we have this block fuse right here. This is a 100 amp block fuse, and that is what's powering the Manager 100. All of our negative connections are up here. Everything's all neat and tidy. Even inside this box, I zip tied everything, made it look all crazy. It may be hard for you to believe, but this inverter is fully connected and wired into the van. I have right here a 250 amp block fuse for the inverter and then the negative is actually right in there along with the input trigger from the Red Vision. So you can turn this inverter on and off with the Red Vision. This right here is a ceiling that's going in the Red Arc van. This is a topographic map of South Australia where Red Arc was founded, as you may know. And yeah, I have some really clever ways to fasten the ceiling. This is actually three pieces of wood. You can't even tell in person where these seams line up due to the amazing CAD work of Evan. Yeah, this looks like just one piece and I'm going to hide the screws inside the topographic features. So there'll be no screws, one piece, no seams. It's probably one of the coolest ceilings I've ever seen that's about to be put in the van. So I'm pretty excited about it. Right behind me is the completed Red Arc show van. And I would like to just say on behalf of Sandy Vans and myself personally, it's been an absolute honor that you guys trusted us to build this awesome van right behind me. Before we step inside the Red Arc van, let's talk about the way this van is charged. We have solar panels on the roof, two Red Arc 120 watt panels. And then we also have the DC to DC function with the Manager 100 that I can't wait to show you inside. Accompanying the solar panels on the roof, we also have a 50 amp Anderson connection right here. So you can easily plug in flexible solar panels or whatever kind of portable solar panels out here. The reason it's on this side of the van is because this is a show vehicle. Not many people walk on the driver's side of the van. So when you have cords out and stuff, you don't have to worry about people tripping under solar wires. We also have the Sandy Van Shoreline bracket right here. That is a 15 amp plug that powers the Manager 100 via shore power. When you're on the road, charging stuff is really important. Laptops, cell phones, rest assured in a Sandy Van, you could easily charge your phone, unless you got a cool case like me, right here via our wireless charger. Along with these 110 outlets in our wireless charger, we also have a USB and a USB-C on the back. But that is not all, folks. We also have USB, USB-C, two 110 ports in the back of that cabinet. USB, USB-C ports all over these cabinets inside and then right next to the sink cabinet right here because the bed is typically set up in this area. Right here is where you have two USB ports that you can plug your phone in and text your loved ones. So we have a 22 inch television that comes down right here and swings 45 degrees each way. As Nelly says, it's getting hot in here. Well, you don't have to worry about that in this fan because we got a 12 volt air conditioning. This is a D Dometic RTX 2000. It's kicking on right now, set to 62 degrees to really cool you all down if you're at the shows and it's super hot outside. This thing will definitely keep you nice and cool. And without further ado, I know y'all are getting all itchy over there. Here is the electrical system in all of its glory. 
A quick overview, we have three 150 amp hour batteries, lithium of course, because why would you use anything else? Then moving down here, we have the Manager 100. This is a fantastic unit. It has amazing capabilities as far as 100 amp charging. We have it programmed down to 75 amps because we don't want to pull more than 75 amps from the Mercedes alternator. Speaking of the alternator, it has a charge back function. So you just simply press a button and if your front battery is dead, it will actually jump the front battery off this unit. Super cool. And then with shore power and then solar with the Anderson cable that we showed over there earlier, this thing will be healthy, charged up, ready to go at every single show. That rhymed. Coupled with the batteries and the manager, we of course have the TVMS Rogue. We all know the TVMS Rogue. It is a fantastic unit, 40 amp relay system. There's 10 drops programmable with dimming functions. And then we have analog inputs and then the three-way switch inputs as well, which I'll talk about that a little bit later when we get onto the exterior lighting. We also have this giant inverter in the back. That is a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter brought to you by, yes, you guessed it, Red Arc Electronics. So all together, this system, capable of 100 amps of charging, 450 amp hours of lithium battery, 40 amp relay distribution, and a 3000 watt inverter. This thing could power a small city, maybe, maybe a village. I already have the Red Vision app on my phone, so I'm gonna go ahead and pair my Red Vision app to this system right now. So right here we have water pump. Turn that on and off. We have a toe kick light down here as a reminder if your water pump is running or not because you don't want to have it run away on you. No, just kidding. So we have this indicator light with your water pump on because when you are in a van, it is recommended to not have your water pump on if you're not using water. That's just to protect your van in case there's a leak or something, then the pump won't continuously run and flood out the van. Instead, it'll just be a much more manageable situation if your pump's off. And since the pump is on, we will show you that it actually works. Pump on. And it just leaked all over the shop floor. Moving forward, main light. The main light is actually these over cabinet lights. So they come on and off. And then also, ooh, little mood setting right there. All of the light functions are dimmable. And then right over here, we also have the inverter. The inverter just simply turns on and off with just a touch on your finger. We see this is the main screen with all the buttons. And then on the second page, this is our exterior lighting. So this is the light bar, and then these are perimeter lights. These are also hooked up on the three-way switch function through the TVMS. So on the dash, we actually have switches that you could turn on your light bars and all that stuff. You can see right here, there's a toggle switch located right next to the water spigot right here. So this controls the outdoor shower. If the water pump is off inside the van, you don't have your phone on you, you don't wanna reach all the way over there to turn your water pump on, you just simply flip the switch to the on position and it will turn your water pump on and you can take a nice shower out the back of your van. Oh, I didn't see you there. After a really long and rigorous workout, I like to eat some food. So if you just go right here, we have a mini fridge with a freezer function in the top, induction stove, fry it up, cook up them eggs, whatever you gotta do. Or if you're lazy like me, microwave. That's quite the transformation even from the Van Expo last week.